Did you know that you can use Google Slides like a digital flipbook and create your own stop motion animations? All you have to do is set up your first slide, then make a duplicate of your slide and slowly with each slide, make small incremental changes that when you view them all together, you will get the illusion of movement much like using a traditional flipbook. So I can click my arrow to make my animation go, or I can hold down my arrow and have my animation move more quickly. In this example, you can see how a volcano eruption is illustrated using Google Slides for our fourth grade science lesson. Let's look a little bit deeper into how the stop motion animation works in Google Slides and how I teach it to students. So my favorite way to teach stop motion for the very first time is to have students open up Google Slides and start by using the shape tool to insert a circle shape. If you don't know where that is, this little icon shapes circle, draw a circle. Now they're going to make a circle. Then they're going to go to their next slide. They're going to duplicate the slide and they're going to move the circle a little bit. Duplicate that slide, move the circle a little bit more. Keep going, do it a whole bunch more until you get this circle that every time you click down, it moves just a little bit. My favorite thing to show students is that if they have a slide with a circle shape on it, they can merely click on the slide and use their control D to duplicate the slide. All they need to do then is click on their shape, move it a little bit. I usually say use your arrow keys. Then they can go back to their slide, their last slide that they did, control D, click on that circle, move it a little bit, go back, control D, go to their circle, move it a little bit, and so on. Now, what's nice about this is that even with something like four slides, students can immediately see the animation. They can go back and forth, see how it works. So that's really easy just with like movement, showing them how it moves. If you want to take it to the next level, you could show them how to click on their shape and change the color. So in this case, we'll use blue, pink. We'll make the next one kind of this greenish yellow. And on this next one, we'll go with purple. So what's neat about this is students can now see the relation between like the movement or the color change and how that affects things. So once they understand how the animation works at the most basic level, they can take that information and transfer it to something more complex, such as this volcano animation that starts with, you know, more organic shapes, adding in, you know, gas bubbles building under the volcano, using the line tool or the scribble tool to add the crack as it's forming, moving a shape behind it to form the smoke, fading that down, bringing in new shapes to show the um, volcano erupting, and so on and so forth. So this is how you would create your stop motion animation using Google Slides, like a digital flipbook. In my next video, I will show you how to take this set up slide deck and record it and save it as an animated GIF. So if you're interested in finding out the next step, check out that video for more. Thanks.